Hey folks, how's it going? So it's kind of an unusual year. We're gonna do something a little different today. Uh, you know, it's the beginning of January and this time of year we usually have a lot of snow and the deer have already moved into the yards. So we're gonna go out, we've got some cameras still out and we wanna pull those, check to see what's on them. We can basically get wherever we want right now in the woods because we've got like less than two inches of snow. And here it is January 6th. Uh, this morning's cool. It's, you know, four degrees I think right now. High's gonna be about low 20s or somewhere around there. So I'm gonna go in and pick up dad, get the rest of my gear together. We'll see what we can see. You know, great way to spend a Saturday. Get out, stretch the legs a bit. Be a fun day. So let's go get dad. When the snow hit was when I saw the most deer headed down that trail. Yeah, it kind of fizzled out. It fizzled out big time. Yeah. And, uh, and I think a lot has to do with the fact those deer are, know they're going to be fed. So they don't mind pushing into a yard early. Right. Where years ago, they generally the snow had to build up to a certain depth before they really started for the yards. Now, I think that with the, they know that they're going to be taken to be fed and it's, a, yeah. it's an encouragement for them to, uh, to go early. Well, we'll go the this. minute the snow hit, they yeah, were they, there right. was there was probably a dozen dozen deer right. on that trail, and then after that, that completely fizzled out. Right. Well, we see lots of deer crossing here, even during deer season. But that's a nice set. That's a really good one. Two nice looking buck tracks. Well, unfortunately, I gotta wait till we get home to check it because I've got a new phone and my SD card reader doesn't fit it. I switched pants and left the SD card back at the house. Son of a gun. Son of a gun, yeah, well. I might have one in my center console to pick up. All right, well, we'll see. We can always come back and put another yep. one there. Yeah, I'll be back in. Yeah. Well, we'll check another spot. Expect, huh? Last deer to leave the area or yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, still roaming around. Yeah. Go see if we can find some more. Yeah. Alright, that's what piece of chocolate he wants. Looking for an axe. I think I got an axe in the truck here somewhere. Oh look at that. Just like that. Dad, look right here. What's that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Someone's tree stand. Yeah. I wonder if they plan on coming to get it or. Huh. Yeah. I guess we're on the trail, Paul. Yeah. I do have an axe. It looks like somebody already got this. Oh, there's more back there? Yeah, there's, there's a pile of it. That's it. Well, that's, that's all I'm going to take off on that one. But like I say, I think it's already been harvested by somebody. So this is where I track the deer for. Oh, and they jumped out of their beds. That first week? Yeah. Okay. You okay. didn't see that tree stand there then? Nope, I did not, but I could have walked right by it. Yeah. They come 
right up the trail here, Paul. This is where, yeah. like I say, once they get up on this trail, there was a bunch of other deer tracks. And it was, I couldn't tell which ones were which. I should have kept going on it just for the, because they were all on the trail, so. Yeah. But. Right. They were on to me then. They, uh. Just set it on the. I don't know. In our tracks? Well, I don't know about our tracks, but. Yeah, yeah. there was in the vehicle tracks coming in this morning. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. There was. And that guy, he, like I said, I've pulled up here and seen him sitting right straight in that little tunnel there. And what a good place to see a deer. A lot of. A lot of activity. A lot of activity. So we did our rounds. Um, yeah. Saw some buck. Yeah, yeah, I saw some sign, but still for January 6th, you can go anywhere you want. Yeah, strange winter. And there's still bucks roaming around. And so. uh, we'll go home. Hopefully, we get those two bucks on camera. Yeah, I'll give you the card there. We'll go check them the out. SD card. See what they look like. Yeah, probably some big bucks cross here at the end of muscle loading week when I, when I wasn't <laughs> well, there, yeah. when after I'd given after up. You gave up. Yeah. Well, we'll go back and check it. Yeah. See what we see. If you see anything, don't tell me. Oh, you'll find out. Yeah. Erase it. Okay, so we're back home. I'm going to check out the SD card. You know, it's been an unusual winter. Here we are in January and I can drive wherever I want in the big woods. So you often think of like big bucks being the last ones to go to the yard. And I guess this is kind of, the, you know, proof's in the pudding. Today we went out and all the deer sign that we saw were relatively large buck tracks. Uh, really going in two directions. Towards the yards, away from the yards. No real... Um, directional movement to the deer at all. Well, we missed all the, all the night, didn't, didn't catch the deer on camera that we were hoping. That's a bummer, that's a bummer, because there were some nice buck tracks going through there, so I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway, it's fun nonetheless. We know they were there, we saw their tracks. So, camera just didn't work the way that it should have. Probably ought to have some better cameras, but we just do it for fun. You know, I'm not gonna invest a lot of money in cameras. It's just not worth it to me, but you know, would have liked to have seen if they we got some butt shots of deer, but nothing didn't get their heads, so we don't know how big they were, or how big the racks were. And it would have been nice to see, you know, if they saw their antlers or not. You know, deer start shedding their antlers end of December all the way through to March, and uh, that can vary, you know, depending on how stressed they are and stuff like that. That influences when they shed their antlers. Yeah, it was a good day, good day to get out, stretch the legs, and uh, you know, kind of see what's going on. We don't get to do this very often. It's very seldom do we get a winter where we can go out in January. So that was pretty cool. It was a fun day. You know, as a deer hunter, even when it's not deer season, you're always still thinking about deer hunting. You know, it's always kind of in the back of your mind. You're always thinking about the deer and, and how they're doing and hoping that, you know, you have a good winter, reasonable winter, you know, that's not too hard on the herd. And, uh, you know, to have a productive following fall. So, you know, I'm already looking forward to next year. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, get outside. It's good for the soul. See ya.